Welcome everybody. So this is the part three of my 1971 Dodge, and as the uh, title suggests, this is Dino time. And those of you who doesn't want to wait all the way to the end, it made 178 horsepower to the rear wheel and 217 torque. Now that one is. Uh, kind of expected but still a little bit lower than it should do because it's already got the door exhaust system and such uh, the air intake I changed it but it's more like a hot air intake not a cold air intake but that's another story that's what I could find and uh, so I went to the uh, local shop and I was trying to record this screen but that is, this is like a bunker, like a concrete bunker, it's so loud, it was so loud I could not get around to that side and everybody's just coming over, every worker, what the heck is this thing? So let's just hear some noise and uh, there is another thing I'm gonna talk about when it's all over so there you have it you can see the the dyno and this one is after the dyno I will start checking the uh, base timing because I thought maybe it's a jump or something like that but you can see it's bang on where it should be it's 15 degrees on idle so it's all good and then this one is uh, well this one I did before the dyno because um, I had a little problem with the uh, cold start and that is a the old uh, coolant temp sensor to the ECU which is um, as you can see right there it's underneath the coil so you have to kind of take the coil away to get access to it and that's the green one and this turned out to be it was not the problem actually but I'm gonna talk about that and that the other one is the, the temp sensor to the gauges and over here we were talking about the shaking the vibration of the car and you will see the reason for that I guess it's because the flex plates are not there as you can see there's no flex plate Mm, on each each side. <laughs> 